Hello everyone, today I will show you how to make simple x-axis cable chain for your Ender 3. I've started by printing this simple chain holder for the extruder carriage. I need to access this screw right here. I will have to remove the whole vent in order to do so. I've removed the fan assembly first as it was covering the hot end. There was a lot of dust inside. I've removed both hot end screws and put the hot end aside. Now I can safely remove the carriage wheel screw. It's really easy to do so since it uses regular hex screw. I have removed the wheel and put it aside for now. Screw goes directly through chain bracket hole. Bracket with screw in it goes into the carriage plate. I've put the wheel back the same way as it was done before. Now it's time to put all of the wires through the chain bracket. In order to do so, I will disconnect the heater and thermistor from the heating block. After that, I will slide the wires through bracket. After putting both wires through bracket, it should look like this. I've also added the fan cable for easier wiring later on. I've connected the fan cable to the hotend cover assembly. Now you can attach the hotend cover back to the carriage. Fan cable is a bit long, but it can be shortened later on. Now it's time to remove screw and wheel from the Z-axis carriage. It's done the same way as in extruder carriage. I've removed the wheel and put it aside so I won't lose any part of it. This is the Z-axis chain bracket. It's way longer than the hot end one. I've put the screw into the bracket so it can be mounted onto the Z-axis carriage. I've put the wheel and distance sleeves in the same order as before. This is the fully 3D printed cable chain. It's a bit short right now, but I can print more links later on. First you want to attach the chain to the Z-axis carriage, so you could check if it's long enough. In my case it's a bit short, so I need to attach more chain links. I've printed more chain links and attached them together. Now the cable chain is long enough so the carriage can move freely. As you can see, chain doesn't put the strain on the carriage movement. There is a slight issue with how far the carriage can go. With current bracket design, carriage reaches only 220 cm in the x-axis. Now it's time to disconnect all of the hot end wires from the mainboard. Now I have all of the wires disconnected. Unfortunately, all of the wires need to be pushed inside of the chain. It's a really tedious process, but in the end it's really worth it. Now I have all of the wires inside the chain. Make sure that there's no tension inside the links, it may cause problems. You also need to adjust your slicer settings so the printer won't go further than it's possible. This issue will be fixed in future revision. Make sure that the carriage can reach the end stop easily. If there are any issues, you can simply tilt the Z-axis bracket slightly upwards. If you can hear the end stop click, then everything works fine. I will use the cable sleeve for the cables which are not inside the chain. This part is actually the worst one, as it's really tough to put all of the cables inside at once. I will use small zip ties on both ends so the sleeve won't move. I've made sure that the zip ties are tied to the max. I've connected all of the cables back and now I can put the lid back on. This is what it looks like after full assembly. It's way better than a bunch of dangling cables. 
And that's how you do the fully 3D printed cable chain for your Ender 3. Thanks for watching everyone and as always huge thanks to my Patreons.